Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Don't mind me looking like this because today's video is gonna be like get ready with me style because I have to kill two birds with one stone. I have to get ready and I have to film for you guys. I, of course, cannot miss addressing the most wonderful part of making this video. It is the fact that we have hit 30 thousand subscribers i am so over the moon excited thank you guys so 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 much you have no idea how stressful my life has been lately and how you guys subscribing and commenting and leaving me love really really does make my day and you guys just mean the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much for helping me hit this goal of 30,000. Like I said, it means the world. My last video was my Miss Universe video and you guys went off in the comments. I honestly wasn't gonna do another Miss Universe theme video until my reaction, but you guys in the comments just went nuts and I love it. So I'm so excited to see you guys just like repping your countries, repping your faves. It's so much fun. So today's video, while I get ready and fixed, fix this mess of a face, um, we are going to be discussing my personal top five favorite of the Asian countries. I'm not going to do Asia Africa because I know the pageant merges those two together. Um, the reason I'm doing top five Asia is because you guys from Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, you guys just went in. So we're going to do top five Asia versus my top five from the Americas. Um, I think I'm going to stick to Latin America for this because I think that those two areas have the strongest competitors this year most years honestly like the way it's been going lately but yeah so today's video is going to be a fun little thingamajig for both so let me just put some eyebrows on because i don't want to watch myself putting my eyebrows on it just takes too damn long so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get started so this video i'm not gonna be talking too much about my makeup so if you guys are interested in what i'm using i will try my best to leave every single product in the description box down below so let's get into it we're gonna start with top five asia because i love y'all y'all are too much and it makes my day reading your comments you guys are so funny so asia the last few years honestly has not come to play i feel like it started what year was rachel peters was it 2012 or like 2014 i need to research that like because i feel like after that like after her was the turning point for the philippines specifically but other than that thailand has not been playing games like even Japan, Japan after um, their 2007 win, like I felt like they kind of fell to the back burner a little bit and weren't like seen as like that many favorites. But the last few years, they they've been turning like turning it up a notch. And this year, they actually have a half black um, Miss Universe, which. I'm all for the inclusivity, like that's amazing. So very, very excited to see Miss Japan this year. So if I could make this a top six, I'd say Japan. Sorry if you hear any train or anything in the background. I live by the train in case you haven't seen from my last videos. But anyway, so starting with my top five from Asia, I have to start with Vietnam. Vietnam, I feel like the last two years has kicked but the girls are absolutely, what was my favorite word? Stunning, right? And especially Miss Vietnam from 2018 that she made top five along with Puerto Rico and who was it? South Africa, Philippines, of course. Vietnam, I just think, has really, really improved their game over the last few years. Um, I have to double check with Miss Vietnam this year. I think she speaks English. I, I hope so. I feel like that's one thing that will definitely hold contestants back is the fact that they don't speak English and it seems to be that there's a big push for that um, from the pageant that they want the winner to be fluent in English. 
if she speaks English and they continue to bring it with the walk, with the gown, with everything, they have an opportunity to make it up there. So definitely would say that from Asia, Vietnam would be in my top five. Now we've got number four. I'm going to say Indonesia. I love Indonesia this year. I think she is just a bombshell. She has that beautiful long hair and although that's a look that we see often at Miss Universe, you just have to know how to work it. And to me, she's been working it. So Indonesia, I think this year is going to make it into the top 20, I wanna say um, confidently because I just think that she's been bringing it. And uh, at the end of the day, from what we see on social media, that's all that we really have to judge on right now. But what we see in social media, uh, it seems to be that she's putting her best foot forward on there which is all anybody can ask for because like i said this is the only time we get to see the girls before they get before they all get to florida for the competition which is in two weeks i can't believe it already where's time going but two weeks miss universe so number three on my list from asia we are going to go with cambodia i am obsessed with miss cambodia this year I don't know to me she's just striking and i think that cambodia is a country that we just because they're newer we don't expect a whole whole lot from them as opposed to countries that are more seasoned and more uh used to and prepared uh for miss universe but i think cambodia this year like ugh, she's just so beautiful like and i know it's not just about beauty but like this girl, I just love her. I'm like, can I just look like that for one day, please? <laughs> I think she's gorgeous. So Miss Cambodia is definitely up there for me and there's a lot of Cambodian fans and new subscribers of mine. So I see you guys. I am rooting for your girl too. So thank you guys for subscribing. Number two of the top five Asian countries for me personally, my personal opinion have to go with the philippines the philippines will never ever ever disappoint at miss universe ever again i i really really don't think so i think that they just have like their hook on the game on how to present yourself how to speak how to walk how to dress everything i just think uh philippines just has such an amazing grasp on that they had a tough year last year with Gazzini but honestly honestly anybody following Catriona was going to have a rough time and the reason I say that is because Catriona just proved that she's such an eloquent speaker and presenter and she has you know great advocacy and and the look and everything all put together so anyone who was going to follow her was going to have a tough time. Um, getting a back-to-back -back is always tough. Like, it happened with Venezuela years ago, but it's not easy at all. Um, so I think that this year with Rabia, she definitely, I think, is an improvement speaking-wise from Gazzini, but... I think her and my next one just need to practice a little bit, little bit more and they'll be right on that level. Um, I, I just believe that, and I could be wrong, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that Catriona has set the bar for the Philippines so high that anyone who's picked after her is gonna be compared to her or be, you know, people are gonna say, well, you know, can't she do this like her? Can't she do that like her? And it's a little unfair because everyone's great in their own way. It's just that, like I said, like it was such a strong win for them that year that I think that anyone within the next couple of years is still going to be compared back to her. As long as Miss Catriona is the last Miss Philippines to win, they're going to be compared to her. So that's my only feeling about that. But Philippines, super, super strong. You can definitely expect to see them in the top 10 at least, I want to say. 
um, because I think that they learned from what they last did and are going to improve on that. So definitely expect to see them in the top. Now for my number one from Asia. I gotta go with my girl Amanda, Miss Thailand. Thailand this year, I think, I don't know, they've just been improving so, so much over the last couple of years. And last year they made it to top five. So I definitely see that happening again, at least for Thailand. Like I said, with Miss Philippines, I think the speaking really needs to be the focus because the walk, the look, the outfits, everything is gonna be on point. Like, you know that. You know, her swimsuit walk, everything. Evening gown, I expect to be on point. My problem last year was that I felt that, I don't want anyone to get pissed off at me for saying it, but I felt like Miss Thailand last year was a little bit too close to Catriona from the year before, like the red dress, the hairstyle. I felt like that played it just too, too, too close. So this year I hope to see something entirely different. Maybe her in like a beautiful green gown or I'm just into green lately. So that's why I say that or purple or just something different than what you see. Because I feel like Miss Universe, you always see like beautiful gold champagne dresses. But you know when Catriona walked out in that red lava dress, everyone lost their crap. So she needs to come out in like a stunner Miss Thailand this year just to differentiate. Because I, like I said, I think last year... It was a little bit too close for me personally. So I just, I want to see them like stand out fully on their own without getting any comparisons to Philippines or to uh, Catriona. That's my personal opinion. If you don't agree with me, please don't come for me in the comments. But that's my opinion. I think that this year they definitely have um, a huge opportunity. You know, I feel like Amanda's been everywhere and she's on a lot of people's top list so there are a lot of eyes on her so they just need to really make the best of that and get it together i'm telling you so now we've got the top five from latin america i'm so excited for latin america this year because i feel like every country has got a girl who is not coming to play so i feel like this top is a strong one i don't know but we'll see hopefully these girls make it at least into the top 20 because i love all of them all right so first on the list we've got miss panama miss panama i'm like so excited to see panama in the conversation this year because i'm all for countries that you don't usually hear about anymore at miss universe like making it in people's lists like i love that and i think that uh last year's miss panama was stunning and i I was rooting for her as well. Um, I think that this year they're going to take all of the uh, constructive criticism and just watch how other countries have uh, been successful at Miss Universe and I see them being able to do the same thing. So I definitely see Miss Panama making it up there this year. So. I'm very excited for her. Next on my list, I've got to brush this hair and do something with it. I have to wash it today, actually. So I'm going to vlog that so you guys can see like how I go from this to my curly hair. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up at some point this week. Next on my list, I have Miss Venezuela. Now, Venezuela... I mentioned that in my last video, I feel like you're not seeing Venezuela in the conversation as much this year. And I don't know why. I think that, you know, the girl is gorgeous. And Venezuela just every year after year just proves that they know how to win Miss Universe. And they know how to, you know, make it to the top. And so I don't think this year is going to be any less, honestly. So... Miss Venezuela is definitely on my top five for Latin America. Next on my Latin America list, I am going to say Miss Mexico. I don't know why I'm not like always crazy about this color, but whatever, we're just going to do it. Miss Mexico is 
absolutely stunning as always as i say with all the girls um but i think with um last year them being in the top three like they know what it takes to win a miss universe again and it's been a long time for them you know they haven't won since Jimena in 2010 so it's been a decent amount of time but i think that last year getting that close to the crown um they definitely know what they need to work on and what they need to focus on this year so i do see mexico 100 percent placing high i think this top three from this list i'm giving you is interchangeable because i think all of these girls oh don't mind if you see plastic on here i got a tattoo touched up i got two new tattoos actually i'll show you guys that too but so yeah if you see plastic don't mind that but uh, I do see Mexico placing very high, and so these top three that I'm giving you are honestly interchangeable. Like, I can see any one of them making it super close. Number two on my list, which I know is so high on so many people's lists for great reason, is Miss Peru. Miss Peru is everything that you would want in a Miss Universe so far, it seems. And Peru, like Panama, to me is a country that isn't in the conversation very often. And so I think that uh, this year, since she's standing out so early, she's going to have a lot of eyes on her when they get to starting, you know, the, the activities and everything for the competition. And so uh, getting this much attention is definitely bringing a lot of focus to countries that don't win as often or don't make it in the top or past the top if they get called even and social media is definitely helping with that because we before social media you didn't get to see what any of these girls really look like aside from the miss universe headshot that would be online but social media really gives you an insight into who these girls are and so uh, it seems like Miss Peru and everything she stands for is something that a lot of people are on board with, me included. So I definitely have her up there. Hey guys, so just had to step in here because my top, my top five for Latin America has to change to a top six. I'm sorry, I can't believe I didn't mention Brazil on this list. Brazil just exudes so much beauty and radiance and i've liked her a lot since she won her national competition uh so i've been following you know her uh through the miss you updates and all that stuff uh for a while now so uh i definitely would add miss brazil to my top five so it's a top six now i'm sorry oh it makes it super difficult but she yeah she's on there she's she's there for me don't mind me i look crazy right now i took off my lipstick and all that but yeah definitely adding brazil last but not least of course i have to mention my home girl hometown girl is puerto rico uh i think that uh puerto rico peru and mexico i think are the strongest from latin america puerto rico just to me proves over and over with the speaking interviews I've seen her do, that she just speaks very, very well. And I think that the competition is less and less every year, like less and less about beauty and your body and all of that, and more and more about what you represent and uh, who you can represent and all of that. And so with these particular girls, I think that while they're absolutely gorgeous, uh, what they're showing that they're standing for is more important. Um, and I think that Puerto Rico is doing a great job at showing that on social media. She's been doing a lot of interviews lately, I've seen. Definitely rooting for her, and I do see her placing high. I think that since uh, Denise Quinones took over, they've just been doing really well, and so I don't expect her to do any less. Uh, but like I said, those are my top five from Latin America versus my top five from Asia. Now, as far as who I think is going to place higher, uh, I mean, it's hard because I feel like the crown hasn't been on the Western part of the world in so long. So I feel like someone from the Americas definitely has a very, very strong chance at winning for that reason alone, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Uh, because, you know, the last few years, it's been South Africa, it's been 
Philippines, it's been France. So, you know, it's been a little while since, who is it, Paulina, since Miss Colombia won uh, in 2014. So just to switch it up a little bit, I think for that reason, we could see the Americas taking it. Um, but don't ever, ever sleep on Thailand or Philippines or any of the girls I mentioned, Cambodia, like literally, they can sweep right in and take the whole thing. And honestly, any of the girls that I mentioned, I think are super deserving as long as they perform well at Miss Universe. I think all of them are super deserving and we could watch any any one of them that I just mentioned walk out. So that's that. So I wanted to do something where I was like recreating Miss Universe looks, but then I was like, let me ask them if they want to see that because... I don't want to just start making that out of nowhere and then nobody wants to watch it. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so, so much for that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my Miss Universe reaction video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. As and lows, as and lows Keep all your games As and lows, as and lows